cha 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 Happy birthday to you, you're a hundred and two. You smell like monkey and poo. Cha cha cha. It is? I'm Lars. I'm Axel. And how old are you guys? Seven years old. Uh, I'm older by five minutes, but he's smaller. Who's more mature? What's mature mean? They're pretty special kids, and I told Teresa, I said, like, one day we're going to be seeing these guys on, like, Rampage or, like, Joyride or something, because they have that spirit, they want to get to that spot, and they're, what, five and six years old and hitting lines that no five or six-year-old has ever hit. We had a bed in the back of the truck, and we were living the life of nomads, going to work as a doctor somewhere and then coming back, and then all of a sudden we decided to have a family, and uh, I accidentally over-ovulated, <laughs> and we had two babies on the same day. And all of a sudden, we were full-time, both of us at home, around the clock, and that's how it started. Quite early, we bought these second-hand, really cheap wooden run bikes, and they got them for a birthday or Christmas, I'm not sure, and immediately we were outside in the rain, and they were trying them, and of course, they're barely walking. They're probably 16 or 18 months old and trying something so they can toddle a little bit. It didn't take them very long to understand that they could walk a little bit and then glide a little bit. But the fact that they were super competitive with each other the whole time kind of made them both want to push each other to where the other one wasn't so much better than them at anything. So it did help them grow really fast and want to get better. But they were about two and a half. They had a friend who was three who could pedal. So they were using his bike sometimes to try. And uh, we ended up getting them both to be able to do one or two pedal strokes. And then I got to hand the rest to their coaches. Most of our daycare is ski school and bike school in the summer. And uh, Greta Gaja and Lauren Hetherington were running a program that was just phenomenal. And we brought them there with their run bikes. And after the first day, Greta was like, well, you've got to bring us some pedal bikes. They came home at two and a half, pretty much riding bikes. From the get-go, they just picked things up like this. like. It was pretty, pretty great. I got to coach Axel and Lars. I think they were still four. They might have just turned five. They were just little dudes. Lars was so t tiny, like really small guy on a, you know, on a 20 inch bike. And the 20 inch bike looked like a giant, like a 29er, you know, it was just, it looked so, so big on him. And Lars and Axel from the start, they stood out. They were just super strong. Like they had this endless energy that, just seemed to, you know, radiate from their tires and just, they would just go and go and go and the other kids were off, you know, walking their bikes and, you know, Axel would stop, go back and try it again and make sure that he got that section and they were not happy until, like, they actually did it. While many kids were like, I'm going to walk this. And they were like, oh, I'm, I want to do it. Yeah. And that, that kind of spirit, that mentality of just, I'm trying to be bigger, I'm trying to be stronger that you don't see that, especially at, you know, five years old. It's, it's crazy. So here I am showing them the blue section. I'm like, so this is how you do rock slabs and we want to be on the front end of the bike. You know, we're talking about brakes. All of a sudden I hear, you know, bikes in the back and I, I look and Axel and Lars both hit like the hard black section and just made it look so good and so easy and just like, what happened? Like, what? Where did this come from? And obviously my first reaction was more like, uh, hey dudes, you're supposed to do what I say, please make sure you're listening. But that was really cool. Like, that was amazing. <laughs> um, you know, I, I couldn't shut them down because what they did was, they made it look good. They made it look easy and it, it was awesome. With the boys now that they're seven and getting a little bigger, just about turn eight, you know, Lars and Axel, they started so young and, and figured out all the kind of things about riding and risks and putting themselves in that sort of edge zone so early 
that by the time they kind of grew into themselves and now they're getting to the size where, you know, they can actually carry some weight into some big jumps, it's kind of exciting, but it's also a little nerve wracking because they're very often doing things for the first time ever for their age or their size. It's a little bit of dabbling, like really trying to understand, is this possible? I kind of let them sort of think about things a little more and talk a lot to me rather than tell them this is what it is, this is what to expect. When I'm here, I'm like already getting committed so I can't see. I can only see once I get here and I'm not gonna just stop, I'm just gonna do it. You still have a little bit of pedal strokes. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, you need a lot of speed. I want to hear what they think and what it's like to be the first kid to do that. When you've watched somebody else do something, you've got some measure of how it could work or, or something to study. When you're breaking new ground, it's always going to be way scarier and you're sort of the first one to navigate that unknown territory. To experience that as a child, how does that even work? They're just getting through all of that learning and, and testing things before they even have the strength to do it but they're experimenting so the mental side of it is figured out and when they're big enough that's kind of where we're at i want to keep them safe but also kind of want to allow them the freedom to discover what they're capable of i, I landed like back wheel like over here and it's still fine you want to try to land back wheel here, but if you get over there, you're good. Woo! Woo! That was awesome! Yeah, just the compression at the end, I'm worried about. Woo! <laughs> what else can you trust in? Your mic? Yeah! That was good. You ready? Oh. Stay with me, keep pedaling! Get into that zone right before you drop. And it'll make you smile, it'll make you laugh, and then you rock. Right? <laughs> I know. I'm gonna move that skill. Shake, 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 shake a lot with your hands, everything. Get crazy, get loose, get wacky. Can I have a high five? Let's get it. Commit. Here we go. Drop it! Yeah, dude. I'm really happy that I could do this. Yeah, me too, dude. So